All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so we're back on this. Um, it looks like I may have to come to you with two episodes back to back. Actually, more like three. The first one was completely <laughs> no audio. I didn't realize that I had no audio until 53 minutes into it. So I decided to do a brand new first one, but I still left the bonus one up there. You can just watch and see. Maybe it will make sense to you. I left it up there as additional value for you. So anyway, um, I got a couple of properties that were sent to me that I need to review from the MLS. And I'm going to evaluate them real quick in front of you using my calculator. Again, you'll see the link to download the calculator. It's a spreadsheet you can use to evaluate the property really quickly to even know if you should go take a look at all or not. If it doesn't pass, we don't take we don't take waste time to go look at it because uh, the price point if a price point of your maximum allowable offer based on the rental income is thirty thousand dollars below, I'm talking about New Jersey market right now. If it's more than thirty thousand below for a two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars house, um, chances are they're just not motivated. They're not gonna accept your price. Not now. You can if you have time or you really need something in that area, you can offer. You can offer. You know it doesn't hurt to offer, but the worst case scenario they reject, right? So, but anyway, so let's get into this. So I got this couple of properties I want to look at on the Garden State MLS here in New Jersey, Plainsfield, Plainfield, Plainfield, actually, more like Plainfield. So 145 Second South Second Street, okay, 1145. So I'm going to go into the Garden State MLS. This is where it is. I have access because I have my father on my team who is a, a real estate, a licensed real estate agent. You need someone on your team if you want to... Uh, to be doing this, okay? Uh, if I'm not on your team already and you're looking to buy your first rental property, holla at me. All right, so here we go. Quick search, multiple listing. Oh, sorry, uh, multi-family. That's what that means, right? And here we are. So I'm looking at uh, Union County. We're looking at Plainfield. We're looking at 1145. And we're looking at, uh, I think it's 1145. It should come right up, you know? Uh, the number we're looking at is South 2nd Street, Plainfield, New Jersey, 1145. We're going to look at it. And uh, I'm looking at something very, very simple. So it's not coming up, right? It's supposed to be active. Union, Plainfield, 1145. So chances are maybe it's 7, there are 3. Maybe it's between those numbers. Let's see. All right, still not coming up. All right, so sometimes people will send me properties that are on Zillow, maybe for sale by owner, not necessarily on, uh, let's see here, South Second. South Second. Let's see if something comes up on South Second. All right, so um, it doesn't look like we have two active properties on this street, and uh, they don't look like the same thing. So what I would do if maybe it's on Zillow, who knows? You never know. So I will go check anyway. Wherever it is, I want to know, right? Now I'll take a look at it, right? Uh, it says for sale here, right? 1145 South Second Street for sale here. On Trulia, it says for sale. And usually if it's listed on MLS, they will put an MLS number as well. And I'll go check it. 43 days on Trulia. But for sale is concerned. Uh, let's see this is an MLS number right so let me go use that MLS I'll go review or see if it's available on there all right so for the public market you probably won't have access to this on you probably won't okay unless you you have the inside the access like me so I'm gonna use by MLS number oh let's see here All right, come on, take, taking too much time, taking too much time. Let me stop this. Okay, here you go. So put that in the search. All right, there we go. We actually have it, but it's asterisk, which means they accepted an offer already, usually. That's what that means, okay? I was told that's what that means. If there's an asterisk on the A, it means... Uh, 
it's under contract somewhere or they accepted an offer it's just not showing under contract yet um, that's what I was told so it looks pretty clean it looks like somebody did some rehabs and stuff like that looks pretty clean I mean for playing field that, that looks really clean um, as a matter of fact I could check you know see let me see if somebody picks up a phone I'll see what they say uh, so, all right so looks like that house may be gone let's see here the other one we're looking at here hello yes hi um 11 or uh, south second i'm an agent is it still available it's gone. It, it's, it's saying asteric. Does that mean it's uh, he accepted an offer? It's saying a asteric as an active asteric. The status. I turn it over. All right. Thank you. So I was saying, you know, I was correct about that. So asteric means it's under contract, it's under review, something like that. Okay. All right, guys. So, um, yeah. So you just saw that call is gone. So anything with asteric, uh, is essentially gone. I'm just gonna label that and say, boom, gone. So the other one, I'm actually familiar with this street, 17 Park Street, in uh, in Rawway, and I wanna, uh, I'm gonna scrutinize the number in front of you right now. All right. So um, this is supposed to be Park. We're going to Rawway, Union County. We're going to Rawway, and we're doing a, uh, what's this, um, park, right, 1750, number 17550, five, and we're going to click search, and uh, we're going to click this, all right, so this property is still available, um, affordable to family, blah, blah, blah. So all I want to do is, uh, the asking is 235. The taxes, this one's a little different from, uh, taxes is 6317. All right, so 235 they're asking, all right? And uh, taxes is how much? 6,317, 6,317, right? All right, so there you have it. So uh, let's look at this closer. So this property is rented. Let's see if there's any rent. So it's rented at 1300 on one side. And on the other side, it looks like it may be vacant, two bedroom each. So I'm just going to say 1300 safely because that's the situation we have going on over there. And I'm going to look at, remember, if you remember my rules here, I don't mind single digits here, right? Uh, but I don't have a double digit here. If I have a double digit here, then I can move forward. That's just how I look at it, okay? So for me to be able to be comfortable with this, I will have to reduce this number here. And uh, let's see if I have a double digit. I do. So this is probably going to fly at uh, double digits, conventional, uh, double digits, triple times over for FHA. And we probably can work with something here. So that's that's the number I'm looking for right there. I use other people's money. I use it at 4%. I bring it in. I bring money back in at 10%, 32%, like that, right? Uh, if I was a bank, I would want this to be at least 10, probably. <laughs> but that number is looking okay for me. So I'm probably going to say here, um, ask is 235K. And uh, offer, I probably will offer at 225k. 225k is probably what I would do, all right? So let's see here. Uh, yep. Yeah. And I probably will, like, let's try 225 here. Let's see what it comes down to. All right. All right. So, yeah, not much difference at 225, but you know. If you can save money, why not? You can extract that 5K out of them, right? 
to do a, a little bit of repair. Right. So that's that. So um, let's see. The last one I'm going to look at here is 271 William Street in Rawway, New Jersey. Rawway, New Jersey. Uh, sorry. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to go over here. We're going to close this. All right. All right. So 235. Sorry. What was this number? Uh, 271 William Street. 271 William Street. 271, 271, William, right? And we're going to say this, and we're going to do this. So this one has been on the market for three days. That's about it. Nice two family. It's an REO. I can see that right there. You need to ask for a request, an REO. It's listed at 209. Mm -hmm. uh, the rental here is probably, this is raw way, right? I'm going to determine the rental in a second. So right now, 209 is listed at, uh, the tax is 6389, 6389, 209, 6389, 6389, right? And there you have it. And then it uh, looks like this, uh, double digits and and double digits five times over with an FHA loan. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. And that's factoring in that this property management and all those good things in there, right? So again, you can download this calculator with the link in the description. Don't forget. Take advantage of that so you can so you can look at this things yourself. Alright. Alright, so this house right here looks pretty clean. Now um let me see if there are more pictures. See some pictures there. This is raw way. How bad can it be? All right. Let's see. Kitchen, bathroom. Yeah, looks okay. All right. So it's something that I'm probably gonna request to see. All right. Now the only thing I need here, I need some more information about the rental. So I don't have anything here. So I'm gonna go look at raw way. I'm gonna go look at raw way in total. I'm gonna just go look at uh, quick search and rental. And I'm gonna to go to um, I'm gonna to go to Union and uh, Raw Way, and I'm gonna I'm looking for things that's already sold or rented are rented are for rented, and I need to see what happened in recent times in Raw Way. All right, so I need to look at two to three bedrooms essentially, two to three bedrooms, okay. And uh, rent date, I probably want to look back to three months ago. All right, so I can see what's really happening. And then 19 or so, that's today, right? I think so. I'm gonna click search. All right, so these are the more recent rentals, okay? From, from two bedroom, two bedroom to three bedroom, I'm just gonna order it. So there's a lot of two bedrooms here, there are a few three bedrooms. The three bedrooms are doing 1500 to 2200. And two bedrooms from twelve fifty to twenty three hundred. I'm gonna safely say fifteen hundred is a safe place to be. Again, just off my head, okay. Just be honest with you, fifteen hundred. It really all depends on how good the apartment is when you're renting it. If you fix it up real nice, new appliances, things like that, you can command a lot more money. All right. So with this number here, where Two digits almost on cash on cash and we're looking good here we're looking good here as well okay so I'm gonna put this in the bag I'm gonna say yes I want to see my offer uh, for this one we'll probably 20 grand below so because 209 is already good as it stands so I'm gonna say uh, ask sorry I'm gonna say ask is uh, 209 okay right at this point I just want to see Okay, I just want to see uh, that number is looking okay for me. Okay, so does that make sense? How we're making sure that the rental makes sense, even if you are going to be living in one, you still want to factor in. Like, let's say you move out of state and you decide that um, you want to move out of state, you want to uh, rent it out and have a, a property manager making sure and you can pay a property manager up to 10 percent for that kind of deal, and you can build your portfolio, you can build wealth easily. Okay. So that's that with regards to um, 
the last one that I have here. So we're looking good on this. I probably want to see this. I want to see this. Uh, from the previous call, you know I want to see this. You know I want to see this, right? And uh, that makes it about four different properties I can potentially see on Saturday. Uh, this one is too far off, so I'm not going to try to see it. It's too far off, okay? If it's too far off, I don't want to see it. If the numbers are too far off, I want to spend my time on what's most likely going to be a deal, okay? And um, the other thing here is I'm looking for a property in Irvington. Personally, I'm looking for a property in Irvington um, that's within the range of 130 to 160, 150-ish, all right? Actually, more like 150. So, uh, but lower than that, possibly lower than that. So I want to I wanna get into that right now. All right, so here we go. I'm looking in Irvington, Newark, and East Orange, possibly Orange. It needs to make sense, essentially. So I'm going to go SS County. This is SS County, as a matter of fact. We're going to go to uh, East Orange. We're going to go to uh, Newark. We're going to go to Irvington. And I know the market, so I know where it's probably more likely for me to find what I'm looking for. This particular criteria needs to be almost ready to move in. Maybe a little bit of cosmetic work has to be able to pass for C of O directly without any, without no more than five hundred dollars in work. Okay, um, essentially need to be able to pass for an FHA. <laughs> All right, is for one of my partners. Okay, so uh, let's see here. So East Orange, Newark. Um, North, 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 Irvington, Orange, City of Orange. There you go. So what am I looking for here? I'm looking for something that's listed, that's actively listed on the market. I need it to be, all right, so I'm on the rental page. I need to go to, see, I just wasted time on the wrong thing. I need to go under multiple, uh, multiple fam, multi-family. Go to Essex County. We're going to go to East Orange, Irvington, City of Orange and possibly Newark. There's four locations. And I need it to be active. I don't want under whatever this is. I don't know what that is, honestly. Um let's um I'm looking for uh I'm looking for it needs to be at least six bedrooms. Okay. It needs to be four to no five to six bedrooms. So I can have one three bedroom apartment, but I need at least one unit with three bedroom. How many units? I know that this is probably gonna be more like two units. And uh, FHA, this is, uh, let's see what this means. In the case that FHA is, compl is, com is FHA compliant for restriction, uh, I don't need to use that actually in this restrictions. Um, so let's see here, six, five, six, all right, so now what about price range? I'm looking for a certain type of price range. I can't go above 170 because if I find something good that's listed at 170, if I offer and it goes in at 150, we can go for it. So I can go as much as up to $170,000. Now, as far as getting lower, I'm going to be uh, conservative and restrict the lower to 100000 because anything lower than 100000 is probably a gutted house and I don't want to see them as well. So bam there you go so I'm gonna click uh, search and let's see what we come up with it's a lot of stuff we came up with so I think I'm gonna start from uh, one city at a time it's a lot of stuff here one city at a time so I just closed one in Irvington just like kind of like this so I'm just gonna start from Irvington search because I know that people kind of have a tendency to run away from Irvington for weird reasons. Actually, Irvington has some really nice rental properties. So you can see all these asterisks. I don't want to see them uh, because that means they're under contract. It's an accepted offer, something like that. So I'm going to select all. I'm going to deselect the asterisks. And I'm going to narrow down, right? So we now have properties within the range of 129 to 169,000. Uh, some here have been on the market for 164 days, 1251 days. Chances are something is wrong. But I have one that's been on the market for 160 for one day at the price range that I'm probably looking for. But there's no pictures. 34 Mint Rose, or what's this? Mont Rose? Mont, Mont Rose Terrace? All right, so this property right here just got listed, renovated in 2016. And uh, chances are, I'm looking for something like this from Grove Terrace. Let me think about Grove Terrace to Montrose. I think this is what I'm looking for. 
since renovated in 2016. Uh, they're, they're looking for 169. Interesting. So if I can push that in at 150, put an offer in, I think it's a fly. I, I do think it's a fly. But anyway, um, there's some other ones, 18th Avenue here. So if I go back here and I go uh, look at this property here. Yeah, this house here. So I kind of need the house to have uh, a parking as well. I know I've seen this in the past and I don't want it. <laughs> um, let's see here. There's another one here for, let's see. It's a house here. This looks decent. This house looks decent, as a matter of fact. Let me see how long it's been on the market. For 152 days at 140. Originally listed at 340. Make your appointment. I think I want this house. Uh, all right. I think I want that house. All right. So, what are we looking at here? Let's see here. Um, interesting. So I know I don't want this one. I know I don't want this one. Well, let's keep looking. Actually, let's keep looking. All right. So, I may want this one. So. Uh, let me see what they're saying here. Contact agent 24, blah, blah, blah. All right, so Stockman Place it may not be a bad look. Uh, this house looks like uh, property needs TLC. Buyer responsible for all. We don't mind to be responsible for town, but it needs to be uh, visibly functional property. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a driveway over there. Okay, maybe this one will fly. Who knows? We'll see, right? So let me go even preview, sir. Uh, this house needs work. I don't need needs a uh, significant amount of work. It says 80% new construction, 80% done. So that's a no. So I know I don't want Woodlawn. 87 camp, uh, Campfield. All right. So this one is a 302 bedroom. Uh, separate, ceiling height, blah, 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 respective. We have a full furnished basement in place uh, as is. So it's a combo or something like that on there. Yeah. All right. So let me close this. I know I don't want Woodlawn. Right? That's the one I didn't want, right? Let me see. Yeah, that's the one I didn't want. So I'm going to narrow down a little bit, a little further again. All right. So I have five properties that I'm narrowing down to. Um, and based on what I'm looking at, it looks like uh, I may want to see it. All right, so Irvington is pretty typical for what I'm looking for. A house that's listed around 129, 150 in Norwood probably needs a lot more work because there's this perceived value in the marketplace for it, and I can't blame them. Market is market, you know. Market is always right. <laughs> so, um, so this one, let me see the pictures. If I see a hole or something ridiculous, it's a no. But that's not what I'm looking for right now. All right, there's a laundry in there. These things are intact. I think this may be a go. This may be a go. All right, so let's see. This property, uh, I want to see it. This one, too, uh, needs TLC, needs some work. It's probably an REO, but maybe it can pass. Maybe we can move forward with it, but we'll see. Uh, $7,000. Now, I don't know what the rent is in this area, but... Let me just do this. Let me save results. And I'm going to say uh, TA uh, 0119 217. And I'm going to say this. All right, we saved the results, but hopefully I can retrieve it later. <laughs> but um, as a matter of fact, let me. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna copy this and paste this in here so I can easily retrieve with the MLS numbers later. Yeah. All right. So let's go to rentals. I want to see what properties are renting for in Irvington. Okay, just to evaluate this and and uh, you know give you a full blown evaluation as far as if I was to invest in this. So Essex County, uh, Irvington, right? And uh, rented. I'm looking for rented. Okay, so and I'm looking for something that things that happen within the last three months. One, two, three. And uh, what happened? 
one, two, three, no, one, two, three. All right, so here we go. Uh, well, I need to know if it's two or three bedroom. Two to three bedroom. Yeah, all right. All right, so these are 1,200 to 1,700, okay? There you have it, 1,200 to 1,700, and this is a residential, which means somebody rented a whole house. So you, can't, you can expect to not get no more than 1,500 <laughs> in Irvington. And you can see that's uh, almost a newer construction, right? So we can we can go inside and see a little bit closer. Uh, property looks like. Uh, let me see if they tell me when it was built. Uh, do, 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 do. I can't tell, but it looks like a house that was built within the last thirty to forty years. So previous. Here's another one's new construction, right? And you can tell why it's renting high because it's a new construction. So obviously, if you're renting a property like this is an existing home that was uh, renovated in 2016, but they're not telling us when it was built, uh, chances are it's built over 50 years ago, all right? Uh, they rented it at 1400 It looks like they renovated it new nicely, and they were able to rent it. So if you renovate the house nicely, you can rent it. Well, you can command top dollars, but you can see it's still lower. Um another one same house uh, it's another one here for 1300 uh, three bedroom it looks like it was rented for 1300 so safely uh, this area is 1200 I'm just gonna call it 1200 okay so if it's 1200 let me go back to the saved searches all right let me see if I can find the saved searches all right saved searches All right. All right. So saved searches. We go back to saved searches. Blah blah blah. blah. Uh, what, how do I receive advanced quick search? Blah blah blah. View saved. There you go. View saved results. And I saved it as this. There you go. Thank you, God. All right, so here we go. We have, I'm going to start from the top here. And I'm going to evaluate this property. 129,000. I'm going to assume I'm, I can collect 1,200 on it, right? 129,000. And I'm going to assume I can collect 1,200 on it. This house can easily use 10 grand in repair. So I'm going to factor that in as well, too. So 129, $10,000 in repairs. And 1200 each, 1200 each, right? And uh, taxes, uh, we're looking at taxes so for 5423. Taxes are pretty decent. I know some of you from other part of the country may be like, What that's decent, <laughs> right? So, when the double digits here, we're looking very good, they're looking very good here. So, I would want to see this, and then I would probably put in an offer at 109, 110. Okay, so. This is a ghost. This is a ghost. So let, let me delete this area off. Nope, not that. Uh, just under here. All right, so as soon as I get off this uh, training with you, I'm literally going to ask this 129K, right? And offer, depend, depends on the work, okay? But I will probably start at 110, 110K. All right, so uh, let's go on to the next one. You see, I'm evaluating this, right? Because, again, it's all about having those double digits return on investment. And you can have a portfolio that you're thriving off of, and you don't have to be a super. You can be a landlord, investor, but, you know, if you can avoid being a super, it's better, right? So this property here, they're saying 1800 here. Oh, well, they're saying 1200 which is my number, so that's, that's decent for a four bedroom for that matter but it's an existing home it was built in 1902 they're asking 139900 taxes is 5423 okay so same thing uh 139900 139900 and I'm factoring a 10k in work and I'm still in the double digits okay so 
I can put in a decent offer. So I knew the right number for me to go in on Irvington, even just by estimating, right? Look at that, 130% cash on cash return on investment every year in FHA. All right, so pretty cool, you know, pretty cool, pretty cool way to start um, investing, you know. And if something goes wrong, you want to move, you want to upgrade, you want to move to a better neighborhood, then you can obviously rent it out and be very safe with your finances, okay? So 169 Brookside is good to go. I'm going to put it on the list. I, I, I want to make a call and see if I can see, all right? All right, so let's keep going here. So we have, uh, let's see what we had. We had uh, 169 Brookside. Uh, we are we're looking at uh, what? 139 offer. 139 offer. We're looking at uh, 139 offer. Is that the offer? The number is looking good already, right? So we're saying asking is 139. Uh, ask is 139, okay. And uh, offer is probably going to be... Um, Let's see, offer is going to be uh, that's, uh, 120, okay, 120. So as long as it doesn't need significant amount of work, we can easily go in on that right there. All right, so let's go on to the next one here. Next, um, we have uh, 59 to 61, Stockman Place. And uh, looks like it's a house that's... Uh, that we'll probably be able to do with on forty thousand dollars they're asking right now. Okay, and uh, let's see here. We're looking at uh, one thirty nine. We're looking for the taxes five four two three. Same number. All right. All right. So they're asking how much? I keep forgetting. Sorry. One forty. All right. They're asking for one forty. So with that number, it looks like uh, we're still in the same zone. Yeah, that number is looking good for us, essentially. Uh, yep, double digits all the way through. All right, so um, so they're asking for 140. I'll probably offer 120 as well. Okay. All right, so ask. It's 140K. Offer 120K. All right. All right, so... All right, so let's see here. Uh, let's see here. All right, so let's go on to the next one. We'll do um, uh, 719 18th Avenue. I have an idea where that is, but I don't think. Uh, I don't think this is going to be it. But that's, that's a major road. It's not private enough. They're asking 150 uh, it's rented for eleven hundred and twelve hundred. It's already a negative right there. Uh, One fifty. This is Irvington. So seven nineteen eighteen Avenue. Uh, if I'm gonna be in the area, I'll still check it out. I never know. You know. All right. Uh oh. X X Irvington Township. So one fifty. One fifty. Uh, I wonder what the one of them is 1100 I wonder what the taxes are let's see tax 5423 all right so this is the same number across board so you can see I'm a little bit less than so let what what if the offer here is 130k right um yeah so at 130k it probably will fly but those numbers have to be accurate so let's go here uh, I'm gonna say ask it's 150k. I'm probably not never gonna pay more than 130k for that, and that's dependent on not that much work needed. All right, so let's go to the next one here, last one, which is just listed. I don't have a picture yet, but if I don't have a picture, I probably can check on Google and see something decent. 1200, I'm gonna use as the prices at 12, 11 and 1200 because it's a two bedroom and three bedroom. I'm gonna do 1000 and 1200. They're asking 169. It's fully renovated though, so that may be a good look. Never know. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, taxes five 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 two. One sixty nine. 
5552 all right all right so this number is above it's lower this is double digits and this is not bad for a fully renovated house it still may not be a bad situation okay but I probably will want to let's see if we can bring this down to uh, 150 let's see what the numbers look like numbers are better numbers are better yep so the offer here is probably going to be 150 because I know that for this particular house we can't afford more than that. So I'm going to say uh, we're going to go here, Mont, Mont Rose, all right, and uh, ask is 169k, and offer is one uh, 150. I'm going to say 145k. Okay, 145k. So, guys, if you get this for 145, and uh, sorry, not like that, 145 for real, for real. Not the other one that I want. <laughs> 9.64. Yeah, numbers are, are decent. Okay, it's doable. It's doable. All right. So, this is how you evaluate properties, and this is how you pick up cheap properties in the marketplace. And uh, let me see, I've already reviewed everything I want to review. I think that's it for today. So I have a lot of problems. I'm going to make some calls and secure some appointment for secure some appointment for Saturday. So that's all I have. So you have two episodes uh, gone in. Uh, and uh, like I said, please uh, feel free to visit me at uh, uh, go to my YouTube channel, subscribe. All of that, all of that, right? And let's get some, let's get you going with wealth building, saving some more money on taxes and, and all those kind of good things, okay? Let's get you going on that, all right? So I'm going to have a part two here for you momentarily, all right? All right, talk soon. Bye now. Available on iTunes and YouTube.com. Watch full interview with the link inside of the post. And please subscribe today. Thanks.